Today we're talking about six cryptocurrencies that I think are going to do very well going forward and I personally hold these coins in my portfolio. I believe that these coins are going to help me build my multi-million dollar portfolio going into the next bull run and that's something that I just wanted to share with you guys. With that said, nothing in this video or any of my other videos is an endorsement for you to go out and buy crypto, right? You guys have to do your own research. I am simply telling you what I am doing in this market. With that said, on top of it, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy sitting in a hotel room talking about cryptos that I'm particularly excited about. Let's jump straight into this video, briefly touching on the reasons why I think that the crypto markets are going to do pretty well going forward. First of all, we have a lot of talk around the town, the crypto town, that people are bracing for impact. The market could see an explosion if China lifts its ban on crypto. Now, right now, from my understanding, this is pure speculation, but I would say this is probably going to happen as we see the Western countries, England, Australia, Australia and America all turning a blind eye towards crypto, having too much of a harsh standpoint on it. Just a few days ago, we saw Australia stop people from being able to on and offboard from Binance using a bank transfer, which is absolutely ridiculous in my eyes. I think these Western countries are going to get left behind because crypto, in my opinion, is similar to the internet that we saw many moons ago. And I think it's ridiculous. They're not trying to keep up with the rest of the world. And countries like China, the Middle East, and a number of other countries out there, I believe are going to see the potential in this space and are going to actually look more favorably towards this market going forward. And these sorts of things could be the start of the next bull run if they happen. Now, like I've said on this channel many times, I don't believe that we're currently in a bull run. We may be just starting out or we may have some other legs downward. So anything I'm talking about in this video has the potential to drop significantly, if not go to zero. We are also talking about some meme coins in today's video, which of course hold the most amount of risk, but they have a much higher risk to reward ratio. With that said, guys, there are also other issues in the market like the debt ceiling, which may be hit very soon in the next few days, which could spell disaster in the short term for the overall markets. And we do still see a massive correlation between the S&P 500 and Bitcoin itself. And as you know, Bitcoin tends to dictate what the rest of the market's going to do. With that said, we do see meme coins basically decouple from the market over the last couple of weeks, which has seen some incredible, absolutely wild gains. We've captured a lot of those both here on the channel with multiple 10 to 100 X's and also in my private group. So if you do want to come over and join that private group, there's a link down there in my description. It's an awesome community. You get to see my trades, my portfolios, and you have other like-minded people doing exactly the same thing. And it doesn't matter whether or not you're a beginner or you're advanced, there is something for everyone in that group. So if you don't like it within the first three days, you can simply drop me or the team a DM and we will give you a full refund, no questions asked. Now with that said, let's jump into it, all right? First of all, of course, Bitcoin and Ethereum are my number one plays, right? Those are the biggest positions in my portfolio. I continually dollar cost average and add the profit that I make, for example, from meme coins into these two coins. Meme coins specifically into Ethereum, other plays like leverage positions, that sort of stuff into Bitcoin. I am continually growing these positions and I would just make this video solely about Bitcoin and Ethereum, but I know that's going to piss a lot of people off. So I'm not going to do that today, but always those are my biggest positions. That won't change when the bull run comes. Believe you me, I'm taking profits from everything. With that said, let's move on to our first coin today, and that is Tenant. Now, this was a pre-sale over on Dowmaker. Dowmaker is one of the best launch pads out there. Some of the returns that they've had is absolutely incredible, and I don't think Tenant is going to be any different. Now, this is a very interesting project, a large-scale project here. Tenant implements a diverse proof of stake. Restake your staked assets to validate a smart contract network security secured by an omni-chain governance. And we can see down here that the tenant ecosystem comprises of a stable coin, a decentralized exchange, native gauges, a lending market, AVA, which is a multi-chain AI-powered Web3 wallet that is the gateway to crypto for non-technical people around the world. And there will also be third-party applications. They have huge advisors like Josh, who leads product at Anchor, which is another huge decentralized infrastructure protocol. And you guys can go check that out for yourself. We've spoken about Anchor here on the channel before. That's made awesome gains as well. And we do have other advisors here. And there is a huge roadmap that is taking place as we speak. Of course, the project did just go live on seven different exchanges just a few days ago. I was part of this pre-sale. Now, of course, like I said, you have to go out and look into this, but they have just under 180,000 followers right now, launched on seven of the biggest exchanges out there. And they have some huge partnerships happening in this space. As we can see from the price action, there was a violent 
move up when this project was released onto the market. And what we've seen is actually a very nice sideways action from then on out. There hasn't been any huge dump downwards, which is good. This is the kind of movements that we want to see here. Yes, for some reason, this isn't showing the actual all time high, but it did, of course, go higher than this. That's a completely normal thing that we see on the launch day of a project. And like I say all the time on this channel, if you are trying to get involved in a newly launched project, it's always best to sit on the sidelines and wait for a better opportunity rather than chasing that initial pump. And right now we are seeing this sideways action, which could result in an explosive move upwards if the market stays bullish. Of course, we've spoken about the things that may happen, like the debt ceiling, which could have a negative effect on the market. So please do keep that in mind. If you do want to learn more about Tenant, you can get over to CoinMarketCap. And over here, you have all of the links to their website, the Twitter, and everything else that you need to know about this project. Again, guys, I am holding Tenant myself. So of course, take that information as you will. And let's move on to the next project. Now, this is Moonwell. Moonwell has an absolutely tiny market cap at 1.6 million circulating, right? They also have a larger market cap of fully diluted, which is 25 million just under. So there is a very small amount of this project's token out on the market, which could mean that there are further unlocks, which push this price even lower. But I do believe that this shows some potential as a moon bag for me. The project is another lending protocol built on Moonwell at the moment. But what they are planning to do is launch on base which is Coinbase's new ecosystem that they are launching coming relatively soon. Now, again, we have advisors for this project. Justin Lee is former Coinbase Inventures. We got Alex from Dapper Labs, Tokensoft and Ledger. We got, again, Elias here from Coinbase, someone else from SushiSwap. So huge investors and investments from Coinbase Ventures. Coinbase Ventures invested into this project at a higher valuation than it is right now. This gives me an idea. I'm just speculating and guessing. Coinbase Ventures invested. Moonwell planned to launch on base, which is obviously Coinbase's project. This is all pushing towards a narrative where Coinbase has a lot to do with this project, which could result in the future of a listing potentially on Coinbase. Now, I have absolutely no idea if that's going to happen. There's a high probability that it will not happen, but I'm willing to put a small amount of my investments into this project, slowly dollar cost averaging, because I believe that there is huge upside potential. Again, I don't know, but today I did decide to buy some Moonwell dollar cost averaging into my bag. I am down from my initial investment and by dollar cost averaging at this price, I bring down my overall cost basis, which is something that I want to do with projects that I intend to hold for the long term. Now, moving on from Moonwell, we have XTP, another project that I am down on since I started slowly investing into this. If you have been following my channel for a while, you know my investment strategy for my long term portfolio is simple DCA. As the price falls down, I can dollar cost average into the project, bringing my cost base this down, meaning the second there is a bounce, I'll be in profit much quicker than if I had have just put all of my investment right in at the very start. So that's what I personally do. XTP currently sits just under a $40 million market cap for fully diluted and just under 5 million for the circulating market cap. Now TAP is of course an exchange token. It's the governance token for their exchange and they are fully regulated and licensed, which is something that I want to see. And they do have 13,000 followers over on Twitter, fully regulated in Gibraltar and their app is to seamlessly send, receive and manage your money and crypto all in one place. Now, the reason why I want exposure to this is we've seen so many times exchange tokens do extremely well. Don't get me wrong. We sometimes see exchange tokens do absolutely terribly, like FTX going to pretty much zero. Those are possibilities. We don't know if that's going to happen for XTP or not. I'm putting a little bit of money into it because I see potential upside. And of course, we've seen this a number of times on the channel. BNB coin, BitGets coin and a bunch of other exchange tokens tokens all have done very, very well in this space. So I believe that if we do head into another bull market, XTP can see some price action going upwards. But of course, it all revolves around the overall market and whether or not we can push out of this little bear market space that we're in. I, of course, also dollar cost averaged into this today with my own personal funds. Now, moving on to another exchange. This time it's a decentralized exchange. It's Vela. This is a decentralized perpetual exchange. So you can trade futures using your MetaMask or your non-custodial wallet. I believe that this is going to do very well. We see GMX, which is really the leader in this space at around a $500 million market cap. And this is during a bear market. So I believe that GMX can go much higher from where it is today. And in turn, I believe that Vela can also do the same. I think that Vela's user interface is great. I think the product is great. Right now, they haven't launched the main net. They were in beta. And when they were in beta, there was an opportunity to create volume on the exchange in order to get yourself 
myself an airdrop. And that's something that I did and brought to you guys here on the channel. I also hold Vela in my personal portfolio and I dollar cost averaged into it today because I believe that there is still upside potential for this in and around maybe a 10x in this space. No one really knows how far the next bull run can go. But again, slowly dollar cost averaging for the long term when we're in a space like this, which is exactly what helped me in the last bear market to grab some awesome prices for projects. For example, Cardano was one of the biggest returns that I made in the bear market from simply paying attention and dollar cost averaging. Now, with that said, let's talk a little bit quickly about the meme coins and some opportunities in this space. Pepe today is up 4.36%. And for me, this sparks a little bit of interest because this may mean that the meme coins can go on another run. If Pepe does continue to show strength, I do believe that Pepe acts as the Bitcoin for the meme market right now in this season that we're in. So the way Bitcoin, if it moves up, we nearly always see other coins like Ethereum follow it. Now we're seeing the same thing with Pepe. If Pepe moves down, we see the meme coin market move down. Pepe moves sideways, we see the meme coins go sideways. Pepe moves up, we then start to see meme coins go up again. So there are two that I want to bring up today, one of which I did bring up in my private group. This is Meme Dow. Today they set at a $1.6 million market cap. And basically what they are is a meme coin facilitator and they plan to hold, buy, and distribute meme coins amongst the holders of Meme Dow. So basically holding this coin will give you access to other meme coins that the community decides to buy and distribute amongst the holders. Of course, this is a meme meme coin. It's super risky. We don't know what's going to happen. We can check out the shorter term price action here. You can see like a lot of meme coins. It did have a very nice initial pump here, pushing down to find some support here. And now what I think is good to see is a slow push upwards, a steady growth upwards, which could show some potential going forward. So definitely go out and check out this coin. Again, I personally hold this in my portfolio. And then moving on to another coin that I have spoken about here on the channel before. It's Magic Shiba Star. Now this launched very recently, right now sitting at a fully diluted market cap of 1.2 million and the circulating market cap is extremely low right now at 150,000. So there is a lot of room for this still to grow. You can see a very similar chart here, an initial pump downwards, finding some support and then heading upwards here. Something that I like to see, essentially what Magic Shiba Starter are doing is becoming a launch pad on Shibarium. Once Shibarium goes live, they will bridge the tokens from Ethereum, which they're currently on, over to Shibarium and then they'll start to incubate and launch projects directly here. And then by holding the coins, you get access to different tiers in the launch pad. Now in the last bull run, we saw massive returns being involved in launch pads. And I do believe that this still shows some opportunity going into the next bull run. No guarantees, especially this is a launch pad mixed with meme coins, all right? So there's no guarantees here. Very high risk, high reward, potential of investments going to absolute zero. But I personally know that I'm still currently holding this in my portfolio as we speak. And with that said, guys, like all of the coins and projects and ecosystems and anything that I hold in my portfolio, I plan to take profits, all right? I'm not one of those influencers who comes out and tells you that I have diamond hands and I would never sell anything. And then later on, a couple of months later, someone finds out that I've been selling. I do take profits. So when I get into something early and the price moves up, I take profits from it. That's how I believe we make money in this market. I don't believe in having 100% of my assets in crypto. I don't believe in diamond hands. I don't believe in any of that. I believe in trying to make as much profit as I possibly can so I can diversify, yes, into other cryptocurrency projects, but also into stocks and shares and, of course, the property market. So that's what I do here on this channel. And if you guys do want to stay up to date with that sort of thing, I would love for you to join the community by just simply smashing the subscribe button. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next video. Peace.